Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the truth of the Holy Scriptures and prophecy of the Holy Scriptures and defending the gospel in truth, sincerity, and charity. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Racha Kodash, Yahweh is the true name whom the world ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah, and Yahweh Shah is the true name of the only begotten, begotten Son of the Heavenly Father whom the world ignorantly and willingly calls Jesus. Baha Shem is in the name. Baha Racha Kodash is in the Holy Spirit or the Spirit Holy. That is to translate the Paleo Pure Hebrew, man, which our Lord and Savior spoke when you read the scriptures. Because he didn't speak the modern uh, Hebrew today, the Yiddish. He spoke the Paleo, the ancient, that pure tongue. Double honors to our elders and apostles, great millstone, the, the true men that do rule well, the holy prophets and apostles and men of the Lord, back to there in the reincarnation in their lots, and uh, as the scriptures say, which is part of doctrine, man. The scripture says, give double honors to those that rule well. And we know in the midst of this wicked, perverse, crooked generation, outside of these false camps, outside of these churches, man, these Catholic church and Christian church, and these people claim to be Israelites, but they make the uh, movement look bad. We know that these men do rule well because of the work sakes, because of what they preach and how they preach it. As the scriptures say, it should be taught. So we know that these are the men indeed amongst many other great men uh, that may not be called great millstone. OK, because what made great millstone great millstone is the doctrine that they preach and how they teach it, man. Rather it be rough or rather it be smooth, man. But guess what? They give you the truth. OK. And they're not just giving it to you, but they're walking and they're living it. Okay? And shalom to you brothers that listen and believe as well. I don't want to make this lesson too long, man. I just want to touch on a few points. You know, we got some brothers out here in the Israelite, the uh, branch of Baltimore. You know, this they page. You know, they do indeed call on Yahweh Bashem al -Shai. You know, they teach the doctrine as well. They go out in the highways and byways as commanded. And they fight for their salvation just as we all, man. You know, and I just want to uh, give a... Uh, a warning, rather, to those listening and following them, even these brothers themselves, if they could take heed, you know, because when you uh, listen to the video, man, you know, there's a few things that would be considered error when you read the scriptures. Okay, you want to watch what you say, and you want to watch being emotional, man, because you can get emotional if you perceive something that don't fit your logic or reasoning or how you feel. You know, that don't mean go make a rant about it. You just pray to the Lord, hope the Lord fix it, man. You know, the scripture says, uh, pray for your enemies. So if you feel a brother is being wrong, man, you feel your neighbors being wrong or going off, you know, you pray for them, man. And of course, that's talking about amongst the brotherhood, you know. But nevertheless, you just don't want to get to saying anything, man. So, you know, I'm going to pull out a couple scriptures. I'm going to play this video, man, and I'm going to point out something that was uh, through the spirit that should have been handled differently. The Lord will hold this lesson be edifying. Right now, we'll get into that, but I kind of want to get into something else. Now, let me just ask you this one thing. You heard that Esau is Arabs before? You, have you ever heard that Esau is the Arabs? Is that why you asked that? So, the brother that came up, he had a question. He said, who do they think Esau is? He told him, the so-called white man, which is correct. And there's multiple scriptures on it. You should have went into that. That's the spirit. This guy want to be edified, but not just him, your viewers, your followers, your subscribers. You know, he also asked about the Native Americans, man, the Northern Kingdom tribes, you know, which consists of the Native American Indians, which inhabit America. You know, our Latin speaking brothers, which are scattered abroad, man, not just here in America, but in the uh, Caribbeans and the islands, man, and so on and so forth. And just the Israelite scattered, period, man. So these are two things this brother could have went into. But what he said he kind of want to get into something else. He want to kind of talk about camp banging. And through the spirit, that's why I want to name it, man. Hey, camp banging and this and that. Because that's his, that was his whole agenda, man. You know, I'm going to rewind it to the beginning let you get a gist. Uh, you can really watch the rest, man. But that's his whole thing. He he want to come out on the highways and byways. But, but instead of prophesying and feeding the sheep, you know, and the scriptures do says mark those that cause division. But we're not causing division, you know. And if he perceive us camp banging and this and that, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, so uh, I'm going to go to this scripture real quick. This is John 21, verse 17. He saith unto, and he saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? 
Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh shall say unto him, feed my sheep. So if you love the Lord, you got to keep the commandments and feed the sheep. And what's feeding the sheep? If they got questions, you're going you gonna, to you gonna answer the question according to scripture, precept upon precept. You're going to draw whatever it is, your lessons, because there's plenty of times, you know, I had lessons or brothers had lessons. But if somebody come up with a question or somebody come up scoffing a doctrine or uh, we got to defend the gospel, you drop everything and you do what's required. That's doing the work of the Lord, man. Our feelings come last, man. Our thoughts and opinions come last, man. You know, and that's something that I uh, just saw through the spirit that I just want to, uh, you know, warn brothers, that brother on man and the brothers that follow him and those that listen. You know, so, hey, and the, then the thing about camp banging, when you go into uh, the word camp, you know, it uh, goes into a place where an army lodges temporarily. Open field, open space for military exercise. OK, now looking at it in a spiritual sense, man, we are the army of the Lord. When you read Ezekiel 37 and tells you about the valley of the dry bones, the breath entered into them. They stood on their feet, an exceeding great army. And began to prophesy, so on and so forth, man. So, hey, at the end of the day, we are that great army through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah. Okay? So we have camps, man. And we get on other camps that ain't doing it right, man. It ain't camp banging. That's just some term he threw out there because whatever way he felt, I have, you know, you know, you get emotional in this thing. But you don't let your emotions control you to the point where you're saying anything, you're making videos. That ain't really pertaining to prophecy and edification, man. You know, trying to make it seem as if you're doing something right and your your neighbor, your brother is doing something wrong, man. Like Great Millstone, just a bunch of niggas out here doing nigga, nigga things, man, in the world. But these things are not so, you know. So, uh, so like, I'm going to pause it real quick. You know. Excuse me. Right, right, so, yeah, man, uh, excuse me, I'm, uh, right, so, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna play a little bit more, man, I ain't gonna make it too, you know, drawn out, cause he, he, his whole point and coming out that day and what was on his spirit, it was something emotional, man, he talking about camp bang and camp bang, you know, we heard that all before, man, okay, this, uh, Romans 16, verse 17, it says, now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So that's, that's another thing Great Millstone known for, amongst many other things. You know, getting on people roughly, man. Teaching the scriptures uh, the, the right way correctly and directly, man. Going into Deuteronomy, man. You know, and, and, and what consists of Deuteronomy, man. They, the marriage arrangements. Rape. Okay, not rape as in a sense as America portions and teachers, but if these things were to happen, you know, the consequences and repercussions of how to go about it. That's it and that's all. Not to say that we do it, but amongst other things. And when you go into that word mark, it means scopeo, which means to look, observe, you know, so we do that. Those that cause offenses. So we get on those, whether they're a camp, whether they're a church, whether they're Israelite, whether they're a heathen, we getting on them. Why? Because we are commanded to do that. Defend the gospel, feed the sheep, and all that is part of it, man. Telling the sheep, hey, watch out for these people, man. Be aware of these type of individuals. That's in that song. That ain't nothing with camp banging. That's part of the doctrine, if you want to put it that way. You know, but then uh, when you go into the video, I'm going to play a little bit more. He goes into, like, you know, uh, guys being niggas in the truth, man, and hey, not neighbor and things like that. You know, matter of fact, I'm not even going to play it because I don't even have time to play it. You know, whoever looking and watching, you can look at it on your own time. But guess what? We don't hate our neighbor. Why don't, and why is that? Because we teaching this word. We giving them the right way to walk in, man. We we leading them to the right way and we pulling them from the wrong way, man. Rather they hear, rather they forbear. The scriptures say do it. This Romans 13 and 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So this is no ill thing. Rather we getting on you using rude speech, man. You know, as this world like to say, 
Oh, they cursing. They using foul language. But there's no, hey, the words that we use in our rude speeches, man. We're not cursing anyone. Why? We're blessing you with this blessed word. We're giving you the pure doctrine, that pure water, man. Uncut, unfiltered, however you like it. It says, love is the fulfilling of the law. So we fulfilling the law by going out of highways and bad ways, waking our brethren up, man. The hopeful elect that's amongst these camps in which their leaders err, not knowing the scriptures, man. You know? We, they, hey, they, the brothers and the apostles even get on brothers and great millstone all day, every day, on camera, off camera. Even way harsh off camera, man, because we know we, we we grow up and we know each other, man. So it'd it, it be, it, man, the thing is, watch what you say, man. Watch what you say and getting in your emotions in this thing, man, because guess what? The things you say and go out and teach and preach, hey, it can bring sin upon you, man. The Lord can be displeased because guess what? You speaking against his anointing. You speaking against the forerunners, the men that he set up. Not to say there's not other men out there pushing the doctrine the right way because there is and they not called Great Millstone. They probably not even part of a camp and don't come out. I know a young brother, younger than myself, that can't come out but wish he could and make great edifying videos, man. And he followed Great Millstone. But is he out in the camp? No. There's brothers that ain't even called Great Millstone, called Men of Valor and DTA and such and such, man. You know? Brothers that teach edifying videos. But guess what? Point is, man, hey, it ain't about no camp banging, man. So don't get it twisted. This Titus 3 and uh, verse 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work. Okay? So not only are we um, in subject to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men of the Lord here on earth, man. But we're also subject to the uh, rulers that be, man. Okay, the scripture said, agree with the adversary, adversary quickly, man. Okay, we have to conduct ourselves in a certain manner, obey uh, the so-called way of this so-called kingdom, man. So guess what? We won't bring harm upon ourselves, our family, and that the scriptures won't be, uh, that the scriptures and doctrine won't be blasphemy, man, okay? It ain't we ain't y'all here doing certain things. It says to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers, be gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. And great millstone, we do that, man. Now, granted, you know, fights break out because, you know, you got niggas, okay? You got unruly women, people that don't have wisdom, and they conduct themselves based off their emotions, you know? They conduct themselves based off ignorance. So guess what? They may cause things to where a brawl may kick out. Some people, you got to be more stern and rebuke harshly than others man you know you could talk to them as so to say slang and rude speech and they get it but the whole overall thing is hey guess what we out there for the people man we out there for the people we out there for our nation we were building the ruins of old only the elect gonna hear the rest gonna reject it we know that hey but scripture say gather the good and the bad you know let the lord play everything else out man okay so we out there for the brother anybody got a question like the brother came up to y'all about Esau, about the Native Americans, we're going to go into it, you know? Now, we are already 20 minutes in, going into some true edification. You know, let a couple scriptures come out of edification, then we, hey, brother, what's up? What's your question? Not just you, you are, you out there, it ain't even been 10, 15 minutes, and you, nah, we out here about camp bang. We, 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 we talk about something else right now. Nah, bro, that, you lean on your own understanding. You know, you want to do your own thing, you emotional. You know, you got to repent for that, man. Because certain things you said in that video, man, hey, it's not right. You keep that to yourself, you come out and prophesy and edify, man. You could have touched on it like, hey, man, certain camps out here camp banging. Hey, I advise you not to do so, such and such. But, hey, guess what? He earned not knowing the scriptures in that area. That area, you know? And it says, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers' lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy and hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward all men. So guess what, uh, Salakia? It says, and love of God, our Savior, toward men appeared, Salakia. So, hey, once we got into the newness, okay, once we put off that old man, like this brother was going into in the video, which is true, you got to put off that old man before you come out here to teach. You got you to gotta put off that old man, because if you don't, you're going to be a hypocrite in the sight of man. You're not, you're not going to, you're going to err not knowing the scriptures. That brother was, he's staying corrected on that. But the thing is, Great Millstone teaches that and pushes that, man. 
okay? We ain't just out here doing unruly things. We patient with our man because we know ourselves was once in that position, man. You know, so we take our time, we teach, and we preach, and we edify. That's the fulfilling of the law. You know, and the reason why we don't get together with this camps, man, because he talk about unity, man. And, you know, I'm jumping around based off points in the video. If you read it, I mean, uh, you know, listen to it, you know, read the scriptures. You understand what the Spirit is allowing me to speak upon. You know, it's all through the Spirit. It's Amos 3 and 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So we not with these other camps. Why? Because you got some camps preaching a different name. You got some camps preaching you can still get lines. You got some camps preaching Esau Edom is not the so-called white man. He's the Arabs. You got some camps teaching and preaching all nations can literally be saved, man. You got some camps teaching and preaching things that ain't sound doctrine, that ain't wholesome words, man. You know? And you got camps out here teaching and preaching great millstone rape. Great millstone is this. Great millstone is that. That's speaking evil. That's slandering. Great millstone don't slander. No camp, man. We get on the camps. If they repent, it's all love, man. We fighting this fight together. But if they don't, they continue to earn their wickedness. We're going to keep getting on them to the spirit. Allow us to get on something else. And we're going to put them on a the spot, man. Rather they be a uh, in the know or not. That's the te that's the doctrine which we are commanded to teach. And the scriptures also say he talk about unity, unity, and this and that, and love thy neighbor. Hey, all Israel, not Israel. And it's written right here, this Romans 9 and verse 6. Not as though the word of God have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So they are not all Israel which of Israel, man. So what is you talking about? Unity and love thy neighbor. Hey, we is loving our neighbor. Our neighbor is the brothers that's teaching this word, preaching this word in truth, sincerity, and charity to the right and to the left. And the brothers that preach the proper doctrine, whether they call great millstone or not, we love them, brothers. We all pushing a good fight. Even y'all brothers, man. But if you earn the scriptures and you don't take the rebuke, man, and if you can't give double honors to the elders, man, not even by word, but indeed, you ain't got to always say double honors when you uh, your videos, man, but mainly indeed, man. Knowing like hey, who I got this word from who I learned it from and about saying double honors in your videos that we do that to make a separation man You know, but nevertheless man. Hey All Israel not Israel the Lord ain't for unity man He won't need for unity for the nations and two-thirds of his people gonna die And you got a lot of two-thirds out here that's gonna fake the funk You got a lot of two-thirds that walk past man. You telling them something they, yeah, I'm familiar with it Yeah, man, they sit there and talk with you and conversate with you. They've been knowing the truth Longer than you and they niggas still, man. And they just appointed to death and destruction. So we ain't casting our pearls before these people, man. We ain't lifting up prayers before these people, man. We don't love two-thirds, man. Why? Because it's written. This Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Who is this people? Two-thirds. The rebellious, the hard-headed, stiff neck, and the deceivers. The wolves in sheep clothing. It says, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me. For their trouble. And that's talking about two thirds, man. This is Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You had a lot of false prophets that came out of one west, amongst the truth coming out of one west, man. You had a lot of branch off camps that ain't one part of one west. They just heard the doctrine and started their own camp, man. You got a lot of Israelites that still say you can call on Christ and you can call on this and you can do this and you can do that, man. Same thing that's going in the church, same thing that's going amongst in the Israelites' camp, man. Those are the circumcision. The scripture spoke about that, man. There was Israelites that knew about Israel since they you fuck, man, but guess what? They're wicked as all hell. They are not knowing the scriptures. Over righteous. Over wicked. But in this time, in this day and age, man, and the Lord requires something different, man. Repent, work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. That's what it's that's what it's about, man. So, Lord, we hope the last was that if I want to give all praise and glory and honor to you, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shah, Dabwan, Sa'el, Elders, and Apostles, Great Millstone, which the Most High set up. Shalom.